Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Lost Island. Today we're going to be doing a quick guide on how to get all four of the artifacts for the Alpha Dinopithecus fight. The thing is, there's only three locations for them. Two are extremely simple to get, and then two of them are very hard, and they're actually pretty close together, but they're both down in the same cave. It's kind of like a little maze underground. So, I mean, that one's, it, it's going to be interesting. I recommend taking a Ravager for doing most of the cave runs, and then maybe a Maywing or some scuba gear to be able to get the one that's down in the Labyrinth, and then you're definitely going to need some type of water mount for the first one that we're heading over to. So, the first one's going to be the Artifact of the Devourer, and it is way over that way. So, I'll get over there, and as usual, I will show you GPS coordinates, and I'll show you on the map where it's at, and exactly how to get it. So, I will see you in a few minutes. All right, so this first one is Artifact of the Devourer. I'll show you where we're at on the map. Our rough coordinates are 82.6 and 15.5. A good way to see where you're going to be at is look for the islands that are out here. It's a good, real good indicator on where you're going to be. Throw on your scuba tank, bring you a water team. This is a super simple one. You're going to look for this shipwreck that's down here. And watch out for Moses because there are quite a few around. As you swim down, go to the front of the ship up here. There's a little hole in it. You will need some way to be able to break these. There's usually a couple of the planks of wood here. They are destructible, which is kind of neat. Break your way down in. And here is your very first artifact. Super simple, easy to get, artifact of the Devourer. The next one is going to be the hardest one. It's going to be the artifact of the... Oh, there's a Megalodon. <laughs> it's going to be the artifact of the Devious and the artifact of the Massive, both in the same location. And that's the one that has the labyrinth that's kind of underground. So I'll see you once we get over to the cave. All right, so for this one, we're going to be heading over to the rough coordinates of 62.3 and 45.7. That will put you right about here on the map. And what you're looking for is, well, not the Stego. <laughs> you're looking for this kind of like a little pond. And it's got some of the some of the rocks right in the middle here. Go ahead and take your scuba tank and stuff and put it on. And when you get out to the middle of the rocks here, you'll see there's a cave going down. So I've got it turned off to where nothing bothers me right now. It's kind of too hard to record and do a tutorial for this section with stuff trying to attack you. But if you swim to the bottom, there's a little cave that goes out this way. There's only one way to go so you can't get lost. I would definitely recommend bringing some bug spray to help out with the centipedes because right up here, there is going to be a ton of them. Usually. <laughs> Usually in the cave right here, there's a bunch. Alright, so as you get up here, put our regular gear back on. The cave kind of splits off into three directions. You got right, straight, and left. The left is a dead end. There's some obsidian and metal back there. And it doesn't matter if you go straight or to the right, pick whichever way has the least amount of creatures, they come out to the same spot. It's a very short tunnel, you don't even need the scuba tank for getting through it. As you come around this way in this corridor here, this is actually right there where the water entrance comes back at. So like I said, it comes to the same area, so just pick whichever way is easiest. And I definitely recommend bringing a cinema crops or something like that into here. Because there are tons of booby traps all on the ground. Alright, so as we get up into here. You got a straight and a left. Those are the booby traps on the ground. You definitely don't want to hit them. So you're going to go straight. Try to <laughs> avoid the arrows of bats. Stick to your right up here. Let's just fly over all this stuff. You come to this room. You got stairs, and you got a left. You're going to go up here to the right, up the stairs. And as you get on top, you'll see the banners. That's the way you want to go. There's another direction back that way, but you want to go straight. Follow the banners. We're going to avoid the loot drops for right now. As you get into here, you got couple different directions. You can go right or straight. You want to go straight. You got another right and a left. You're going to go right. What you're looking for are these stairs right here. 
So as you go up the stairs, you've got a left and you got a straight. We'll go that way at the end. That's a secret exit that we can go to that's a lot easier than double back in the way we went. So you're going to want to go straight for sure. Pass up all the bats. You got a little ramp that goes up. Some stairs that come down. And there is your first artifact. Now, to get into there, in this room, back behind these barrels, tiny little button on the wall. Go ahead and push it. That'll open up the door. And there is your artifact of the Devious. Now, that is on a timer. If it slams down, the button's right here. That'll reopen it. As you come out, you're going to want to go this way. And you've got another lock gate. Again, right back here is another button to push. As you come into here, you got some more stairs, but you're going to want to go left because that is your other artifact. Very close together. And the button for this one is right next to a booby trap. Same thing with this one. It's got a timed door. If it closes, it's right there. That'll let you out. This one is the artifact of the massive. So, <laughs> now that you got your artifacts, I'm sure you want to get out of here. As we leave out, let's just go this way. If you come up here, you're going to want to go straight up and straight down. It's going to lead you back to that room. Remember, we came out that way. I told you to follow the banners. That's where the other area led to. You can't get that way. There's a locked door, and you can't get to the artifacts. So don't go that way first. It's kind of like a dead end. You have to go one way. So we're going back through this way again. Past the banners. Past the little loot crate. And if you remember right, you're going to stay to the left right here. Then you're going to stick to the right. Here's the steps we talked about. And then you're back up here. That way goes to the artifacts. This way is the secret exit. As you get up here, your first button is on the wall. You got some stairs. brings you up into here. Don't go that way. It's a dead end with a bunch of booby traps. Straight across, and you've got another set of stairs. You can already see the light changing from us leaving the cave. So as you get up into here, sometimes there's a ton of bats. It looks like it's a dead end. If you just go straight ahead on the wall, there's your button. And that'll open up the door. You cannot come in this way. It is definitely locked. There's no buttons. There's your secret exit. I'll take you up here and show you where it leads out. So where we're at here is roughly 59.7 and 43.8. And that will lead you to the secret exit. It's a nice little way to come out. Like I said, you can't get back in. It is fully locked. All right, next one is going to be the artifact of the hunter. All right, so for this next one, this is the Artifact of the Hunter. The rough coordinates for this one is 37.1 and 10.5. That'll take you to this entrance right here, top left of the map. This one has multiple entrances. If you actually go straight ahead there, that just leads out to the other entrance. So they're fairly close together. Let's go ahead and get our torch out. It's pretty dark. So as you come into the cave, take your first immediate right. Lead you to this chamber. Watch out for the Megalania. There's tons here. It's a one way in, one way out. So take a left. As you get down the corridor here, we're going to be taking a right. As you come up here into this chamber room, just follow the path. It's a little narrow here for the Ravager. Buddy! You used to be able to make it, man. <laughs> That's all right. We'll get off and throw them back out.
Alright, so, as you get down to here, stay to the right. As soon as you get down and you start seeing water, take another right. And right here, next to the Megalania, is a very small little entrance. Alright, buddy. Ravager might have got him. But crawl under here. And all the way back here is... Artifact of the Hunter. And your final artifact. So it's not too bad, man. It's fairly easy to get all of them after you get done with going through the little maze and everything. That one, oh, dude, it's such a pain. Like I said, though, taking your cinema crops, taking a very good shotgun, take in some of your bug spray and a ton of medical brew. They kind of all lead to the same direction, so once you get your artifacts, it's fairly easy to find a way out. But uh, <laughs> hopefully that helps you out with getting your artifacts for the Alpha Dinopithecus. We are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.